This is Camo Pigeon 342, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch using Z iPhone. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download Z iPhone and uh, install it. And once you do that, you're going to have this. So the link to download is going to be in the video description. It's ziphone.org. Um, so once you do that, open up wherever you saved it to, and open ziphone dot g no ziphone gui. So uh, it's gonna look like this. There's gonna be all these files in there. So you open this one right here. It says ziphone gui dot exe. So you run that. It's gonna look like this. So, depending on what you want to do, um, is it's going to uh, differ which button you want to press here. Uh, the do it all button will unlock, jailbreak, and activate the phone. So if you just bought an iPhone and it's out of the box, you haven't done anything with it, you haven't even activated it, and you want to be on a different GSM network, so you can put a different SIM card in there, you're going to click this button. It's going to unlock your phone. It'll put installer uh, on your phone, the app installer. Uh, it'll also uh, activate it so that you can put your SIM in there and it'll unlock it so that it'll all work. Um, if you're going to stay on AT&T, or if you're already on AT&T and the phone's activated and all that stuff and you, all you want is the installer app, you press jailbreak. This will work for iPods as well, or iPod Touch, I mean. Uh, so you press Jailbreak. Jailbreak and Activate is for the people who just bought uh, an iPhone, and you're going to stay on at and um, So you press Jailbreak and Activate, that'll activate the phone, and it'll put the installer app on to your phone. Um, so once you've figured out which one of those you are, uh, you're, gonna, you're just gonna click that. Now, if you're on earlier firmware, if you're on 1.1.3 or before that, and you wanna, and you're already you're already jailbroken, and you want, you know, to upgrade to 1.1.4, then you're gonna need to click this. You're gonna need to prepare for upgrade. Uh, you need to be on, you need to be on the restored version of the firmware. So you need to have the firmware downloaded onto your computer so that you can restore to it. You can actually restore to the firmware so you're not upgrading because when you upgrade that will mess up your phone. Um, that's how people end up breaking their phones pretty much. But uh, so what you need to do is you need to prepare for upgrade I'm going to read the text right here. It says, if you want to upgrade or restore your iPhone, use this button to set your phone into DFU mode first. Then use iTunes to restore your phone to the wanted firmware. Hold shift while clicking restore and select the firmware file. We recommend that you restore to 1.1.4 if you haven't already. So the place you're going to get the firmware from um, is pretty easy. This program makes everything extremely simple. So you're going to go to help and info. Web links is going to be the center box at the very top, and there's all the firmware files. So you're going to click the 1.1.4 firmware file. You're going to download that, and then save it to some place that you're going to be able to find it again. So once you're all done with that, you're going to need to go into iTunes. And here's the part that's uh, a little um, weird. People get messed up on this. Uh, you're going to go over to here where it says restore. Do not click restore. You need to hold down the shift key on your keyboard while you click it. So you put you push shift down, you push it down, and you hold it. Then you click restore while you're holding shift. I hope that explains that. So you press shift, restore, and it's going to pop up like this. And you're going to be able to navigate to wherever you saved the firmware at. So I'm going to go into my firmware file and I have all the firmware files downloaded. So you're going to click on the iPhone 
or the iPod Touch 1.1.4 restore file. And then you're going to restore it to uh, to the 1.4. So you just double click that and it'll start um, restoring it. It'll probably ask you if you want to if you want to um, create a backup so you can say yes to that and then you can put all your contacts and you know whatever else you have on there on your phone or your iPod touch uh, it'll save all that stuff and you can put it back on after you jailbreak um, it's pretty simple so once that's all done you're gonna be upgraded to uh, the 1.1.4 firmware and if you're on AT&T, then you know all you gotta do is click jailbreak. If you're on like another network, it's gonna it's gonna lock your phone back up, and you're just gonna have to click uh, do it all. And that'll unlock your phone. It'll jailbreak it, and it'll activate it. You just put the sim right in, it's ready to go. So I hope that was uh, explanatory enough. Uh, again, you need to follow if you if you're already have your phone and it's already jailbroken do not upgrade do not upgrade you need to press restore um, I can't stress that enough that will break your phone if you upgrade um, so if you have any questions uh, leave a comment message me uh, and I'll be sure to help you out